Introducing the all new Corolla. At a pocket meeting in Tamuning, former Governor Carl Gutierrez invited former Republican First Lady Joanne Camacho to speak. May I ask uh, First Lady Joanne Camacho to say a few words? Thank you, Governor. Half a day, a maganda gabi sa yung lahat. Camacho spoke about how Tamuning is traditionally a Republican village. And although she is a Republican, she said that this is a different election and one in which she would be supporting Gutierrez Gumatauta. She explained that Gutierrez's running mate, Gary Gumatauta, is her first cousin. But she said this is not the only reason why she's supporting the team. She spoke about how she served as the general manager of the Guam Visitors Bureau for two years under the Calvo administration before she became unhappy with the governor's leadership and left for the private sector. She also spoke about the problems that her sister-in-law, Mary Camacho Torres had with the Calvo administration. Mary Torres is the sister of former Governor Felix Camacho. And for part of the Calvo administration, she served as the executive manager of the airport before being transferred to the Port Authority of Guam, where she served as general manager. She was ultimately removed from her position as general manager of the port, and it is believed that this has caused a major rift between the Camacho Torres faction and the Calvo faction. I knew they were having issues, my sister in law because they needed to move her out of the airport for whatever reason so they can do their shenanigans and move her down to the port. She got to the port and she became a problem because they weren't able to do what they wanted to do at the port. And this is the honest truth I see. So what they wanted to do was get rid of her. I said, you can't. Give her my job. Handle it correctly. No, because there are two in a rush. They wanted to get their agenda through. Camacho admitted that she supported the Calvo administration at first, but after sitting in cabinet meetings for two years, listening to them berate her husband's administration, and after the fallout with her sister-in-law, Mary, she says she can support them no further. I woke up, and I realized this is not the leadership that I had supported. I was very disappointed. People ask me why. I'm disappointed at their style of leadership. Camacho says it is Governor Gutierrez's style of leadership that she is now supporting, and she strongly cautioned the crowd against letting Governor Calvo have another four years in office. What we need to do, as the governor says, is about our election. We need to go out to the people, reach out, ask. I do. My husband goes, wow, you ask? I say, yes. Because if we don't do our part, it's lost. And it's going to be a story of the rich gets richer and the poor gets poor. Because that's what it's. That's what I see happening, and I know. I've been part of it, and I didn't like it, and it's worse now. Can you imagine if they get four more years, what's going to happen? We can't await for that, please. I pray to God every day. I said, Lord, this election is yours. Grant favor to the servant that's going to serve all of us. And Joanne Camacho made it clear last night that she believes that servant is former Governor Carl Gutierrez.